Hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer Folge zu Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute ne? und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Im nächsten Mal haben wir mit dem geheimnisvollen Mädchen Gespräche geführt, die sich selber als Nummer 7 betitelt, weil ihre Kolonie keine... Namen wirklich verteilt. Also hat Senna einfach mal entschieden, ihr den Namen Sigiri zu geben. Weil sie Onigiri mag und sie von sieben halt. Sehr kreativ. Und ja, wir sollen Sigiri jetzt zu der Kolonie zurückbringen, beziehungsweise zum Konsul, weil er uns erzählt, dass er sich für die interessiert, aber weil der Konsul ist, glaube ich ihm irgendwie nicht so ganz. Naja, wir werden es ja auf jeden Fall jetzt gleich sehen. Ich würde sagen, ich bleibe mir aus dem Bild und wir lassen auf uns zukommen, was jetzt passiert. Wait, are you serious? You really trust that console? Of course I don't. Not entirely. I know it could be a trap as well, but still. If, and this is a big if, okay, if he was telling the truth earlier, then we won't have to fight with Sagiri and her friends. And more importantly, I'm sure there are people waiting for her there. So, for all those reasons, I thought... Well, either way, things can't stay like this forever. Rather than make speculation after speculation and do nothing, you want to set something in motion. It's also possible, if unlikely, that we might be able to talk it through. All right. Can you tell us where Colony Zero is right now? Atia region, Capricorn Peak. Huh? Wait, isn't that... That's where we fought against those guys, ain't it? The point where Colony Zero is stationed is located even further in. That explains why you were lying in wait for us there. However, the geographical feature called the Naklia Mire is located en route. Entering it is predicted to have severe negative impact on your biological processes. Then how do you guys get through? A Ferron's environmental hazard resistance can temporarily neutralize poisonous materials. What's a Ferron? Oh, is that the thing you were riding inside? Affirmative. Consequently, traversal through the afflicted area will necessitate retrieval and refurbishing of the abandoned Ferron suit. We can ask Riku to fix it up. Will that be okay with you? No objections. Oh, if Riku must, we'll not leave friends in Lurch. All right, then. Just be patient for us a little while longer, okay, Sigiri? Compliance. How does it look, Riku? Can you get it in working order? It looked like problem mostly cosmetic. Riku have it working in no time flat. And ready. Riku proud of own handiwork. And how does it look to you? Can you still use it? Power lines clear. All sensors online. Baron unit number seven, fully operational. That sounds good. Are you ready to guide us? Understood. Designating route. Umweltimmunität, das hätte ich gern, wie es nicht früher gehabt. Kein Giftschaden mehr. Vor allem in die Rente, äh, wirklich in diesen Robo rum. Nummer 7, Sigiri. So, witzig, dass das genau äh, die äh, Stelle ist, wo wir uns beim letzten Mal, beziehungsweise vorletzten Mal, äh, den Reisepunkt noch geholt haben. Aber im Ernst, das ist so eine Fähigkeit, die hätte ich wesentlich früher gebraucht, die kommt viel zu spät. Irgendwas greift mich an. Ah, 
Aber ich lag auch richtig mit einer äh, Kolonie hier. Welcome, friends. I've been hoping you would come. We've brought your soldier as you asked. So what now? Hmm. Number seven seems uninjured. Thank you for this magnanimous measure. As promised, Colony Zero's order to eradicate Ouroboros will be rescinded. You have my word that we will never again darken your doorsteps, figuratively speaking. <laughs> Talk is cheap, man. Oh, I assure you, the soldiers of Colony Zero are most faithful. They would never disobey an issued order. What's more, I personally have nothing but the deepest respect for you all. After all, you did tend to my dear number seven and brought her back to me unscathed. I offer you my sincere, heartfelt thanks. Yeah, all right. This doesn't sit right with me. Oh, I've just had the greatest idea. Number seven, you and our guests have traveled long and far to arrive here. Why don't we introduce them to the rest of the Colony Zero personnel? Compliance. Uh, I think we're actually fine. Nonsense, no need to be shy. We need to tie a bond of trust between us, and where better to start than with a round of introductions? Sagiri, are you all right with that? The Consul's word is absolute. Number seven does not have the prerogative of choice. Number seven, show your face to everyone. I'm sure they'd like that. Number four has also been worried about you. Yes. Number four? Number four is number seven's right-hand man. With number seven absent, he had to take over the reins instead. He means like being an eight, then. Sigiri, does that make you the commander? Parts of the definition appear discrepant. But on the whole, there are no major issues with that denomination. You could have told us, you know. I have no record of the fact being queried. You noticed it too, right, Tyon? Yeah, and I can't make sense of it. The Consul's attitude is one thing, but more importantly, the Pharonis. The one thing a colony needs, and there's no sign of it here. Or maybe... Maybe it's just... Something completely different from the colonies we know. A special unit under direct Mobius command. Were we too hasty coming here? For Senna's sake, and for that girl she trusts, let's hope not. I wonder what's around here. Ich trau dem Braten nicht. New colony entries have been registered. Wird es doch bestimmt verarschen. Die sind ja alle so klein. Das ist einfach nur, damit sie besser in die Dinger reinpassen. We've made some new friends. Weil dass die alle nur Nummern haben. Sind hier noch andere Leute außer mir vorne jetzt noch? Scheinbar nicht. Number seven. I'm relieved to see you back safe. Number four. No status abnormalities? We're all good here. Number ten and number eight are currently on a mission, but should be back soon. Revising query. Are there status abnormalities in number four's condition? Uh, no. 
I'm okay. Number four can still fight. However... Number seven, you're not at fault. If anything, it's my fault. Having such poor abilities in battle. Without disengaging the Farron's limiter, I couldn't fight prop... Uh. <gasps> Number four. Wh what's wrong? What is it? Sparks, you don't think this is... his flames leaking? <laughs> I'm cold. Number seven? Where are... I can't see a thing. <laughs> Sagiri, what just happened? Number four has given his life to the Pharaoh. Oi, you better explain yourself. The Pharaohs are powered by life's flames. The flame clocks that impel them are synchronized to those of their passengers. Wait, did you say flame clocks? Does that make the Ferrons? Indeed. The design differs, but you could see them as functionally identical to Ferronesis. In addition, Ferron flame clocks are fitted with the function to disengage the limiters. Disengage the limiters? Doing so allows the Ferron to burn through the flames that fuel it at an accelerated rate, maximizing the unit's power output. Once the limiter is disengaged, a first-term soldier can perform at a level comparable to a colony's commander. That incandescent power is the pith and marrow of the Ferrons, of Colony Zero's might. But what is Colony Zero to begin with? Who are you? Who are its soldiers? You could say we are those who work behind the scenes of this war. Battlefield manipulation inciting sedition, information control, elimination of third-party forces. It's all due to our ceaseless, thankless efforts that this war can continue unabated, and each life's fate arrives as ordained. In other words, we maintain the fabric of the world. That is the duty which is our pleasure to fulfill. Nothing but empty words. That's the reason you put your men in those things. Well, mate, you just showed us your whole ass. I knew you didn't care about the lives of your soldiers after all. Preposterous! I treasure their lives above any other good. They are to me the most exalted substance. Their immaculate lives, sacrificed in service to the world, permeate it and form the basis of the eternity we Mobius covet! Stop it. Protecting my innocent lambs whose souls lubricate the gears of the world through a sublime sacrifice. That is the highest calling. Isn't it the loftiest vocation conceivable? Surely you must agree. Shut up already! I, I must beg your pardon. Have I said something to incur your displeasure? Snuff all of that and snuff you! How dare you! How could someone like you think for a second you treasure, Sagiri? You have no right! We'll bring you down right here and now. Sagiri and everyone will be free from the flame clocks! But what in the blazes has brought this on? I told you from the start, I had no intention of fighting you. Have you lost your mind? Well... It seems unavoidable now. It seems the negotiations have broken down. Truly regrettable, and yet perhaps inevitable.
All Farron units, heed my call. You are ordered to disengage your limiters. <gasps> Number seven, your orders. Bring all your might to bear and crush the Ouroboros. Sagiri, listen, you don't... Compliance. Commencing Ouroboros annihilation. Sagiri. I know how you must feel, but for now we have to fight, Senna. All units fall in and stand by. W what's this? Consul, a report. What's the matter, number seven? Large expenditure of life's flames is forecast if limiters are disengaged for combat. Proposal following analysis of all units flame totals. Restrict limiter disengagement to unit number seven. Hmm. I see. What? What's she doing? She's trying to get her mates out of fighting. <laughs> Number seven. I recognize your unparalleled radiance. It brings you honor. Now behold. By my authority as consul, I order you. All Ferron units, disengage limiters. <gasps> Snuffer. Just when I thought he couldn't go lower. Oh, number seven. Truly you are a marvel. The cry wafting from your spirit, it will water this endless world and make it bloom eternal. First off, let's deal with these guys. Yeah. Just wait, Sigiri. We'll get you out of this mess, I promise. This... Ohne grausame Situation einfach nur. Wir müssen denen auf jeden Fall helfen. Die Frage ist, bringt ihr das um, wenn wir die Uhren an den kleineren Dingern wegmachen? So, die Mann das schon. Das gerade zeigt aber auch, dass die Teils einen eigenen Willen haben. Phenomenon. Number seven, I'm changing your orders. Kill that Urabaras first. Top priority. 
Ugh. Comply it. it Don't, Don't do, do it, Sagiri! That's an order, number seven. <laughs> number seven, what are you... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Imposter number seven! Sagiri, for them all. Right. With the Consul's death in the line of duty, Colony Zero's chain of command is broken. Number Seven currently has no duties to perform, and no orders to follow. That means you don't have to fight us anymore. However, it is a matter of record that Number Seven took hostile action against Ouroboros. Perhaps you wish to mete out an appropriate punishment. Sagiri, you did nothing wrong! Really, we should be thanking you. Thanking? Why would that be? I mean, before, you attacked the Consul instead of us, so... You held back from fighting us, and thanks to that, we were able to take down the Consul. Hmm... Anyway, that's enough about that. Now it's time to think to the future, right? I cannot comprehend. Huh? Why do you speak to number seven that way? Under what orders and from whom? Why did number seven disobey orders? Why did I not attack you as instructed? Requesting swift reply. Furthermore, requesting orders. Sagiri... Number seven is confused. I do not know what actions to take. I know what it's like to feel lost, uncertain, not know where to turn. But even you must have some things you think you'd really like to do, right? Number seven does not have thoughts matching that description. In that case, let's put our heads together. Let's think of things you might want to do. Is that an order? Nuh uh, nobody's giving you orders anymore. From now on, Sagiri, the only orders you should follow are your own. <gasps> the situation described does not conform to the accepted definition of orders. I. It was just like a metaphor, or. Or was it a simile? I really cannot comprehend. Uh. But, although I cannot comprehend... Sagiri gives orders to number seven. If the circumstances be interpreted this way, then Sagiri... I... may be able to comprehend. Oh, Sagiri... Is it odd? No, I don't think so. I'm sure it's exactly right. Since, after all... You're free now. So, Sagiri, what are your orders for number seven? Top priority should be to investigate what it is that I want to do. 
More data must be gathered before this is ascertained. <laughs> that sounds very like you, but I think you're making it too complicated. It doesn't have to be just one thing, and it can be anything, really. It can be anything? Yep, anything at all. In that case... Yes? Did you think of something? Right now, I think I'd like one of your onigiri, Senna. By the way, I wanted to ask about the Pharon. I suppose there's no way to use them anymore. That statement is incorrect. Oh, really? Motive function can be restored by switching to alternative power source using ether cylinders. Power output will be inferior to the original flame clock system, and the limiter can't be removed, but shouldn't hinder combat. I will be able to fight on. Wow. Th that's great news. Do you think we can ask you to fight by our side again, then? Understood. Pharon unit number seven will gladly join Ouroboros battle unit. We'll be counting on you then, Sagiri. In happy end. Maschinen, Maschinenassassine. Ich bin wirklich gespannt, was die kann. Ja, wahrscheinlich haben wir direkt die nächste Mission zu Sigiri. Schwächt Feinde für mehr Schaden, breitet Schwächungen aus, um die Kampfkraft aller Gegner zu senken. First, let's talk about all the stuff you might want to do in the future. Affirmative. Mit der äh, Sprechweise passt sie halt einfach nur in den Robo, ne? Aber damit haben wir definitiv den letzten Helden. Warte mal, wie sieht denn das aus, wenn man von der das drauf hat? Ah, man trägt dann dasselbe wie sie. Diesen komischen äh, Mech-Anzug. Ey, das ist wie aus äh, diesen äh, Mech-Animes, äh, äh, der Anzug. Eins zu eins. Hat es jetzt eigentlich gereicht, dass ich hier bei äh, Synchronisation hier 200 bei ihr habe? Ja. Heißt, ich kann ihr auch endlich diese Fähigkeit gönnen. Ich glaube, die habe ich jetzt bei jedem. Ja. So sollte ich jetzt eigentlich bei jedem haben, dass ich Technik an Technik packen kann. Das ist eigentlich auch so ziemlich das Praktischste, ist, dass du halt die Technik einfach richtig hart rein spammen kannst. Der Robo, der fällt halt so hart auf. Habt ihr hier auch eine Kantine? Und dann muss ich mir einen komplett anderen Punkt zum Quatschen suchen. Ich glaube, ich muss mir echt einen komplett anderen Punkt zum Quatschen suchen. Aber hey, wenigstens darf ich jetzt im Gift rumstehen, ohne dass es mir äh, Schaden macht. Ich wiederhole, diese Fähigkeit hätte ich so viel früher gebraucht. Und die nächsten, die in die City ziehen, habe ich gehört. Jetzt könnte man Rätsel raten, wer von denen in welchen äh, von diesen Robos gesessen hat, werden die mich äh, 50 Mal angegriffen haben. Wahrscheinlich war es sogar wichtig, dass man diese Kämpfe hinter sich hat, damit man diese Heldenmission überhaupt annehmen kann. Oh, 
Aber schon witzig, dass die halt alle so klein sind. Ich reiß mal eben kurz zu irgendeiner Kolonie, äh, beziehungsweise zu einem Lagerplatz, wo ich mir zumindest ganz kurz angucken kann, ob das Gespräch, was ich gerade bekommen habe, nach Abschluss der Heldenmission, hier eventuell wirklich direkt die nächste ist. Es ist zumindest eine Nebenquest. Wir können die ja zumindest noch besprechen. Ja, ihr könnt jetzt das Gegenteil versuchen. Ihr hat ein schweres Leben. Das wäre auch eine Option. Wer hätte damit auch keine Probleme, ne? Das ist eine schwierige Situation. Scheinbar schon. Ich denke mal, das Gefangenenlager wird dann der neue Kolonie. Zumindest klingt das jetzt so. Ja, es geht nun wirklich nicht. Können wir die Stufen eigentlich steigern? Jawohl. Zumindest eine. Na gut, dann können wir beim nächsten Mal dann reißen. Wir haben hier auch noch eine Nebenmission.
Also da zu dem Gebiet, da können wir beim nächsten Mal hinreißen. Ich gucke gerade hier noch. Da in der Richtung könnte auch noch irgendwas vielleicht sein. Na gut. Für heute soll es das jetzt aber, äh, wie gesagt, gewesen sein. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet alle Spaß beim Zusehen. Wenn ja, lasst ein Abo und ein Like da. Und beim nächsten Mal gehen wir dann die Nebenmissionen von Sigiri an. Ja, die hat gerade irgendwas mit äh, äh, der Matrix gemacht. <lacht> naja, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao Leute, bis dann.